Once that's being installed, we need to organize our stuff and build things that are called projects, packages, and classes. Uh, and on my NetBeans screens, I've installed it, I've opened it. Uh, I'm using NetBeans 8.0.1, and I have actually what is called two projects over here that I've been working on for a while. Uh, the first project is called AP Computer Programming. Uh, that's because I have taught an AP Computer Science course in the past, and this is all of my files for that course. Uh, the second coffee cup is uh, called Entecker. That's actually a, a board game that somebody had uh, worked on a little bit and was trying to build another project to build a board game. But uh, for us, we need to make our own um, our own project for the particular course that you're working on and so you need to go file new project so you get this window here and you need to check a, a Java project as we are going to be working in Java and Java application and then we click next and the project name is what where we're going to name this project. We're, this is Think of this as a filing cabinet. We're building a filing cabinet that's going to store all of our things for this project. And this project that I'm working on right now is called Computer Programming 1. because so I'm building this video for a course called Computer Programming 1. And I'm going to uncheck this Create Main Class uh, because that is not something that I need. I just want a uh, I just want a filing cabinet built so I can store all my files and keep organized here. So I'm going to click finished and I will see you over here in the top left corner once this is done building. I will see this new project called Computer Programming 1 pop up. Now within that filing cabinet I would like to build uh, some folders so I can keep track of different things and when it's time to create new folders you'll just want to right click on the package and you'll want to um, just choose new package and a package is a folder and in this case I will just call this uh, unit 1 now we have to be a little bit careful because you can't have spaces uh, there's certain things that you don't want to have here so I'm gonna go unit 0 1 in case we end up with 10 or 11 units I just like to keep organized so this is going to be a folder for all of my stuff in unit 1 and notice that my folder is gray right now. That means it's empty. If When I put something into it, it will turn that yellow-brownish color just like uh, the source packages here. Uh, and so really what I've done is I've created, my, I've created my filing cabinet called Computer Programming 1. And inside that filing cabinet, I have folders. And the folders are called, this one's called Unit 1. And later on, we'll create a Unit 2 and Unit 3 and Unit 4. Uh, and we'll store all of our files inside of those. When you're actually ready to create a program, which is called a class in Java, you would right click on this folder. It's really not called a folder, it's called a package. And you'll go new Java class. And that really Java class, a class is a program. And I'll call this one Hello World um, because that's really honestly about the first program most people make in computer programming languages. And I will finish. It will be done building when it's finished. It will notice. You'll notice that you will see this "Hello World" program pop up here, and my Unit One folder turned yellow because it now has something in it. It's not empty. Now I'm going to stop here, and we'll use a new video to really teach what all this means on the screen. But now you're set up with your filing cabinet for all files in the class in uh, the course. Uh, we have a folder to store all of our Unit 1 homework in, and we'll build off of that later in the course.